Hey guys, Fighter in here, taking a look at the new HTC Status, which is available through AT&T, currently at $49 with a, a two-year contract agreement. As you can see, the uh, HTC Status is a, a relatively a compact device, uh, fits uh, pretty comfortably in the uh, hand here. Um, it's a, a little less than a half inch thick. Um, and it only comes in at a little over uh, four ounces, so it's a uh, pretty lightweight, pretty easy to uh, hold, and uh, pretty much take anywhere with you. Uh, the device is made out of plastic, uh, all white in color, with some uh, silver uh, HTC branding here on the back and also on the front. Uh, the keys are also in the white color. Uh, with blue and black uh, lettering numbering on there. Also, don't forget about the uh, prominent uh, Facebook uh, key down here. Uh, the display is only a 2.6 inches at a HVGA resolution. Uh, because this display is a kind of a little bit small, smaller than uh, what we would like, um, but it's pretty much about the largest display you could fit on a device like this. Um, works uh, relatively quick as you can see um, even though there's only a 800 megahertz processor on here there's really not a lot of uh, lag when uh, going between the uh, the different home screens so works uh, works pretty good here uh, we didn't ever have a time where it seemed to uh, stall or uh, or lag behind of course uh, you've got different uh, settings they can use on there the uh, four capacitive buttons underneath work pretty good. Have a dedicated uh, send and end key. Also, don't forget about the full uh, QWERTY keyboard. Uh, works pretty well. Uh, the buttons are raised from the uh, surrounding plastic, um, so it does provide a good uh, tactile feel. Also, a nice uh, click when pressed. Uh, only thing is, uh, buttons are going to be a bit small here. Um, you know, as you can see, you can kind of cover up. Uh, you know, almost half of them with just uh, one finger. So, got to kind of use the uh, edge of your thumbs here when uh, typing. Also, the uh, Facebook key down here on the bottom will uh, take you directly uh, to a little screen here where you can uh, type your current status or uh, take a picture, directly upload it, or uh, choose one that you've already took that's in your current uh, gallery. So, overall, uh, not that bad. It's a uh, uh, pretty compact, uh, but the um, the size of the screen uh, does kind of uh, suffer due to the uh, small size of the phone. The HTC status is running Android 2.3.3 Gingerbread, also with the uh, HTC Sense 2.1 uh, layered interface over top of that. So like we said before, even though it's got the uh, 800 megahertz processor, as you can see, Moving between the uh, seven home screens is uh, pretty fluid and uh, doesn't really have uh, much of a lag. Um, the only uh, downside here is that only on the uh, main home screen allows you access to your uh, apps drawer. Once you start going into one of the other home screens, you're not going to have direct access to that. Uh, but you can press the uh, menu button down here at the bottom and then the all apps key. So you can still get to it, um, it's just not as easy as uh, getting it from the main home screen here with just a uh, single press. Also you have your uh, different uh, customizations here for the display. There's uh, five different uh, scenes here that you can choose from. It's also uh, two different skins and of course the uh, large selection of a uh, desktop widgets that uh, HTC is uh, well known for. So altogether, it's a nice uh, customization here, uh, but still nothing out of the ordinary for a HTC device. One of the main features of the HTC status is the uh, easy Facebook integration. When uh, you're on your uh, main home screen here, simply pressing the uh, Facebook button, bring up this uh, little screen where you can uh, type a message to post directly to your wall. You can also launch the camera or uh, choose a, a picture from your uh, photo gallery to go right to your wall. It's also your uh, friend stream uh, desktop widget, which we've seen on other HTC devices, but there's also this new uh, chat desktop widget here that allows you to uh, start an instant uh, Facebook chat 
with uh, any of your uh, current uh, Facebook friends. Also, you can uh, open up the app and uh, view all of them at once, as well as your uh, chat history. So it's a pretty decent uh, Facebook integration. Also, if you're uh, listening to a song, uh, you can press the Facebook button and it'll automatically uh, list the song that you're listening to on your uh, Facebook page. So overall, pretty good here for uh, Facebook integration on the HTC status. The web browser works pretty well on the HTC status. As you can see, scrolling is uh, pretty quick uh, despite the uh, 800 megahertz processor. Really no uh, lag here. Uh, only downside is due to the uh, small 2.6 inch display. Uh, small text on websites are going to be uh, pretty uh, difficult to read, so you are going to have to uh, zoom in quite frequently to uh, make text a bit larger to read. But as you can see, the uh, pinch to zooming uh, works uh, pretty well on here. Uh, no uh, noticeable legs. So overall, not that bad of an experience with the browser. Just expect to have to zoom in on uh, web, pre web pages pretty frequently. The 5 megapixel camera on the HTC status uh, has autofocus and a, a single LED flash. Uh, images that we took outside uh, were uh, pretty good. Uh, we're actually uh, kind of surprised by their uh, uh, detail considering the uh, low price of the device. Uh, only downside that we noticed is that uh, bright areas uh, have a tendency to be uh, oversaturated and will uh, lose some of their detail. Uh, but other than that, uh, color quality and uh, saturation is uh, pretty good here uh, for an uh, uh, inexpensive phone. Uh, only issue that we had was really with the uh, uh, video capture. It's a 720 by 480, but only uh, 22 frames per second. So uh, video quality isn't going to be that good. So um, still need to uh, carry a dedicated camcorder around with you uh, if you're looking to uh, take some pictures on your vacation. But the actual camera is uh, not that bad. The in-call quality on our end was uh, pretty adequate. Uh, voices were uh, full and natural sounding, but you are going to get a bit of a background hiss uh, on the uh, on the device in the earpiece. We also noticed that the uh, volume uh, wasn't that loud even when uh, turning up to high. Uh, the speakerphone is also uh, not that loud either uh, when turned up to high. Um, but overall, not a, not that bad of an experience. The reception was also pretty good, uh, averaging anywhere between three to four bars. We've got uh, four bars on the device uh, right now. So we didn't drop any calls um, or have any uh, major issues as far as uh, calling performance. The uh, uh, 1250 milliamp battery is going to provide you about a, a five, five and a half hours of a talk time on a, a full charge. Um, but using the phone on and off, uh, checking your statuses and uh, doing different tasks and using applications, it's only going to get you about uh, 32 to 36 hours before requiring your next charge. So overall, the HTC status isn't that bad of a choice for someone uh, who's looking for a, a dedicated uh, social networking Android device uh, with full core to keyboard and the uh, uh, dedicated uh, Facebook button down here, which is a really nice addition. Like we said, uh, the main downfall here is the uh, screen size, um, you know, so you're going to have to kind of do a deal with that. Um, we kind of wish it was maybe a little bit larger. You see there's this uh, black bezel frame around the display. Uh, we kind of wish the screen would actually take up more of that space, uh, maybe a little bit closer to 3 inches in size, but at 2.6 inches, it's about as small as you could get on a uh, phone like this. But overall, not that bad for the uh, price. So uh, be sure to check out our full review of the HTC status at phonearena.com.